Okay, let's look at this optimization problem and let's remember what our steps are for a pre-calculus class. So the first step is to draw a picture and label it. Now this is a rectangular pen and it's cut into three parts with inner fencing. So the picture would look like this. Uh, you've got a rectangle and this is kind of light, but you've got two pieces of inner fencing and it's just got a, a height and a width. And so we've done step one, we've labeled it. Now the focus is what do we want to minimize or maximize? And again, it's really important to start there. Don't worry about all this money up here. The question is about maximizing the area. So let's find that formula, which is really simple. It's just X times Y. Now, of course, now that we have that focus, it's, it's got two variables. We want it in one variable. So we need to do step three, which is find a constraint. And that's where the other information comes from. Now we pay attention to that money. Okay, we have $1,000 to spend. The outside of the fencing costs $10 per foot. These little inside pieces cost $7 per foot. And so we need to figure out what equation that implies. So if we were gonna pay for this picture here, we'd have to pay 10X for this left-hand side, $10 per foot times X feet, and then 10X for the right-hand side, and 10Y for the top, and 10Y for the bottom, 7Y for the first middle piece, and 7Y for the second middle piece, and the total is supposed to be 1,000. And that's the constraint and then we need to be able to substitute it into the focus. So just simplifying it, we can solve for X. It doesn't matter, matter whether you solve for X or Y. I'd rather divide by 20, so I solve for X. And then we're going to substitute this into uh, X over here. So we go ahead and do that. And what happens is now our area formula is in one variable, and we're very happy about that. That's step three. And then lastly, we want to find the vertex. Once it's in one variable and you found the vertex, use that vertex to help answer the question. So we need to find the vertex. We have our formula, y is negative b over 2a. And again, it's really important to say y equals so you know whether you're finding x or y, depending on what the question answers. And of course the formula is in terms of y, so this is y equals negative b over 2a, and we end up with this 14.7, that's one coordinate, but we don't really need to find the full vertex, we just need to find something about it, and it depends on what the question is. And this question is, what's the maximum area we can find? So we have y, we know what the area formula is, and we just need to plug that in, and we have our answer, 367.65 square feet. And we are done with this optimization problem.